Good morning, girls. I was really inspired over the weekend to read a story about a, a young girl, uh, a year seven student, who is taking a stance on Black Lives Matter. Her name is Zara Raymond, and she has gone out every single day with a placard on which she has written Black Lives Matter outside of her front gate and stood in the street or on the pavement with that placard in front of her, just simply holding it calmly, gracefully, silently, purposefully, outside her house for cars to see. And there is a video of her on the BBC and she is asked to relate her experiences as she has held that banner. And she talks about really confidently and purposefully, as I've already said, but courageously about some of the experiences, the negative experiences that she has had with that banner in front of her. But it is the way that she refers to them. And then she goes on to talk about all of the positive experiences that she has had. So she says, yes, I was spat on, I've been spat on once, I have been called a name and somebody gunned me with a water gun. But she calmly puts those negative experiences to one side and then in a very balanced, objective way, talks about all of the positive, all of the amazing things that have happened to her since she decided to hold that banner outside her house. Why am I telling you this? In my letter to you, I write you a poem. It wasn't my poem, it was a very, very famous poem. And I outlined to you in that letter the kind of student that I wanted you to become. I've given you another example just there. That is the kind of student that we educate at Virgo Fidelis. Someone with courage, someone who always sees the positive, someone who is able to change the world just through their own actions. I want to leave you with another poem because you must be feeling nervous. You must be feeling as if perhaps you don't know what's going to be coming your way. And all of those feelings are perfectly understandable, totally acceptable. But I want you to focus on the courage in the story that I have shared with you this morning. And I also want you always to try and grasp that courage, grasp life with two hands and never give up. And that's what this poem is about. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low, but the debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but do not quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us often learns. And when many failures turn about, when we might have won had we stuck it out, don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup and he learned too late when the night came down how close he was to his golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out and you can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when you're hardest hit. It's when things seem worst that you must not quit. So don't give up, keep your hope up, keep your confidence up, be positive about the change that is about to come your way at the beginning of next academic year. Think about all of the positives and think about how you can gain advantage and success 
from this change. Hope to see you soon, future Year 7 of Virgo Fidelis. Bye bye. Good morning girls, my name is Miss Moses and I am a member of the Senior Leadership Team here at Virgo Fidelis. We've been working really hard to make sure that you have an excellent time here at Virgo next year. If you have any questions or queries, please do come and see me and I look forward to seeing you next year. If you see me around the school, please do come and say hi, but working with your form tutors, we're working really hard to make sure that you feel safe, happy and secure here and that you have a great time whilst at Virgo. Welcome to Student Sport. My name is Miss Hamilton and I do safeguarding. I'm a first aider. Down in student support, we have small intervention groups for numeracy and literacy. But if you're not feeling well, you can come and see me in student support. Thank you. Hi Year 7s, uh, my name is Miss Gui and I just thought I would introduce myself. Um, next year some of you will be in my uh, form which I'm really excited about. So in the form what we do is we just every week we have a different structure on what we learn. So what I did with my old form is Monday we had a discussion, Tuesday we watched a movie, Wednesday was a prayer and Thursday was work booklets. Friday, we're not really in form. We tend to have assemblies, but I'm really excited to get you guys on board and I hope to see you soon. Bye.